Well, sometimes you see you see a box, you arrive here at the studio, and you just you sort of know you're in for a good time. See that right there? He's tipping the cap. It's like the dude in Alice in Wonderland. Matt Hatter. Matt Hatter. What do I know about this? Not very much. Will's gonna fill me in as we go along. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is a massive display that it's a watch. Bang! Wow. This is the world's largest display smartwatch on planet Earth, straight from China. There's a number of different ways you can get it. Track this thing down on AliExpress and, and elsewhere. An actual SIM card tray. So not eSIM like the Apple Watch. It's like a tiny little smartphone flipped into landscape. The difference in scale, it's more than two of those Apple Watches. Screwdriver in the package. That, I mean, that's how you, that's always fun. Well, when you see something like this, mm, about to surgical. get your hands dirty. Yeah. Oh, this is how you charge it. Okay. And then you do this. Maybe it's like this, Jack. And you got a little bedside clock going on. You're going to have to interact with this at your own risk. If you go order one up, I was checking AliExpress and some of the ship dates are months from now. Just understand the risk involved in adopting a product like this and a screen protector. It has a camera, front facing camera, so you can video conference, take a selfie, so forth. A mic speaker, so you can answer and you can talk, phone calls. Oh, they say waterproof. They say life waterproof. <laughs> the display is apparently 640 by 480 resolution. It's got a MediaTek processor. I should tell you right now, this thing is heavy. Oh, wow. Display at that scale is actually pretty nice though. It has a Play Store, Will. It's all gesture based. There's some stuff pre-installed, contacts, phone, messaging, settings, browser. Presumably it's some version of Android on here, which is kind of nice. When you scroll up from the bottom, by default, there's some fitness tracking stuff. There's also some quick toggles over here. What is that? Auto brightness, half brightness. It has three brightness settings, sleep mode, airplane. I mean, like a phone, sort of. Not as uncomfortable as you would expect. It's heavy. It's heavy and I'm hitting and it's heavy and I'm hitting, but look, look. They actually did pack a fairly large battery in here. The battery reading is 2880. That's no joke, 2880. Look at this, I can type on here. Oh, okay. I'm typing, uh, I'm searching. The text is very small. You would not want to do a lot of reading on here, obviously. You could watch a video on there. You're in high school or whatever. You can't be they're like, no smartphone. Check, it's not a smartphone. I like that. <laughs> You're like, it's my watch. Leave me alone. I mean, it's definitely got a uh, Inspector Gadget, Dick Tracy vibe going on. Mm -hmm. Project that Elon Musk the audio is from a watch. And this event is set to take place in November. It's got a very high gadget factor. Yeah. This is a huge commitment, Will. Mm -hmm. All right, the people probably aren't ready for it. Is it really that crazy to imagine a future in which imagine something at this scale, which somehow expands some sort of a projection or something in order to make the screen bigger when you need it? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. Yes. Well, you wouldn't need a phone for that. Well, one. we're just talking. We're just talking. Yeah. We, and this is heating up on my wrist, by the oh, way. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's I'm getting uh, cooked right now. Oh. This is a smartphone on your wrist. That's what it is. And they kind of adjusted the OS a little bit to be more suitable for that and added some fitness features. But ultimately, you are looking at a smartphone for your wrist. Let's go ahead and launch the camera real quick. <laughs> I'm happy that this kind of crazy stuff exists. Yeah. But it's like sometimes the fringe stuff actually can be ahead of the time because they don't have the same restrictions. They can go out and just make it, see what happens. And maybe one day we get to a place where this gets a little more miniaturized, thinner, possibly even flexible. Imagine you saw flexible mm -hmm. display on the wrist and maybe it doesn't seem so crazy anyway. Maybe you get into that science fiction zone. Who, me? Uh, oh, that? <laughs> this? No one else is gonna have it. So you better be able to back it up. You better be able to tell people why it is you've made this commitment. Now someone's gonna have to go beat them. And next thing you know, this is this is what it is, this is what it is next. Well, see. Perfect. 